everyone. If you have a situation when you have to develop some kind of button which allow you to download a CSV file and when you click on this button you would like to file to be automatically downloaded in Salesforce so we could discuss what is the way for us to do so. So first of all if you would like to grab some data from the Salesforce we need to create for example some kind of class or controller right where we will be able to grab specific records. So in our case just for demo purpose we are creating uh, some kind of uh, let's say case fields from the case object with the following limit and we put in everything together uh, into one SQL query. So the way how we could actually connect that SQL query with that specific button where we could download CSV uh, of the data is in the following. So we just create an LVC component and in this LVC component we have that function that we use when we click on the button. So once we got results from our backend method so then we are using this function fetch data. So when we're using that function fetch data what we are doing is we are actually preparing a set of uh, let's say data rows right uh, we are creating an array from it and but prior to it what we are doing for each of the uh, components that we have I mean for each data record that we have um, we are actually adding those records in, in, into that specific set so when it's done what is still required for us to do right it's just to push everything into one uh, let's say string right CSV string and uh, once this part is done so what we could do is we could uh, actually create a specific uh, link element, right? Our specific link element uh, have a tag name equal to A, right? And then what we are doing in terms of the ref parameter of it, right? We are specifying that our data text equal to C, uh, CSV file, char set is equal to UTF-8, right? And then we are passing our encoded URI. So, uh, and into encoded URI, we are putting in our CSV string. And in that case, uh, we could specify what should be the name of our file, right? When we download it and what should be our target. And then we could uh, append the specific element as a child to our uh, element. And then we could automatically, let's say, click on that specific element, right? So all this kind of stuff could be done in that function and in that manner once we will go and click here on that button it will automatically download this um, file with records for us. So that's all, thank you for attention.